Let's go over into our postman. Let's register user one with password one. Register success, selecting all users from the users table. There we now see that instead of seeing password one, we see this hash. And if we were to register a second user with the same password, we also see a hash value. Now, this is beneficial because now if the hacker were to breach this database, they would need to know the values of this hash, which could either be found through dictionary attacks, brute forcing attacks, just basically going through all these different combinations, hashing those combinations, and then comparing to see if those hashes are the same. If they're the same, whatever came from that hash is the value of the password. But you might notice a problem here. Both of these hashes are the same. So while we've protected ourselves from having the password shown in clear text, we now have a new problem where it's easy for the attacker to identify which passwords are the same. So for example, if user three had password three, and now we have three users in the database, the attacker can quickly recognize that of these three users, if he were to crack this hash, he would know the password for two different users, okay? And what are we gonna tell users? Hey don't use the same password as someone else. That doesn't work, right? It just doesn't work. So that's one problem. Another problem is that if we were to get this hash and then simply look it up in a rainbow table, so we'll look for hash password lookup, okay? There's a website called CrackStation. You can paste the hash in. And because there is nothing unique about this hash other than a commonly used passphrase, it's already stored in some words list. It's already stored in some hash table lookup, okay? And there you can see the same hash, SHA-256 results in password one. 